4 of NFL action gets underway on Thursday Night Football as the Green Bay Packers welcome the Chicago Bears to the unfrozen tundra of Lambeau Field. The Packers were laying more than a touchdown on the early week lines, but it seems to have settled at seven points. Short week prep periods always create some interesting betting angles, and this week's game is no different. Looks like the Bears are going to close at plus six or higher for the fourth straight week. Chicago is 2-1 against the spread with a cover and a near upset of the Falcons in week one. They were an outright underdog winner last week against the Pittsburgh Steelers to pick up their first straight up win of the season. The Packers are just 1-2 against the spread on the year with a week one cover and victory over Seattle, a loss at Atlanta, and an overtime win as a seven point favorite against the Bengals last week. Injuries can be a big factor for games on short weeks. All in all, the Bears are in far better shape than the Green Bay Packers for this game. Chicago has a few injury concerns, with Jordan Howard banged up and center Haranis Grasu nursing a hand injury. But everything else is intact. The Bears deserve a ton of credit for their win over the Steelers last week. Due to injuries and ineffectiveness, things were in a constant state of flux on the offensive line. Even with that inconvenience, the Bears own the line of scrimmage with 220 rushing yards on 38 attempts. They picked up 5.8 yards per carry with the two-headed monster of Tariq Cohen and Jordan Howard. Howard had the game-winning score and 138 yards on 23 carries. Tariq Cohen had 78 yards on 12 carries, and both guys paced the pass catchers by combining for 50 yards on 9 grabs. The passing game was non-existent. After Mike Glennon's awful effort last week against the Buccaneers and a slightly better, yet poor performance this week, calls for Mitchell Trubisky have been getting louder. Glennon was 15 of 22 for just 101 yards with a touchdown and a pick. The receiving corpse is a disaster area, with Kevin White and Cameron Meredith out and Alshon Jeffrey in Philadelphia. So Glennon isn't exactly set up for success, but the turnovers have to stop. For the third straight week, the Chicago defense played really well. The Bears rank in the middle of the pack in yards per play against. This is an improving defense for what appears to be an underrated team. For the Green Bay Packers, this past week's game against the Bengals was all about getting a win and getting out alive. Brian Beluga played but re-aggravated his ankle injury. Aaron Rodgers was sacked five times in just the first half as Lane Taylor also left Hurt and David Bakhtiari missed his second straight game. Randall Cobb didn't play and Jordy Nelson was clearly less than 100%. The Packers had 78 yards of offense in the first half. The deciding factor for Green Bay was that Aaron Rodgers is a great player and great players elevate other players. Geronimo Allison stepped up and caught six balls for 122 yards. Rodgers only got sacked once in the second half as the Packers erased a 21-7 halftime deficit and then won the game in overtime. The running game was mostly ineffective due to a lack of push from the offensive line. In a short week, with Beluga dinged up again and Bakhtiari and Taylor both very questionable, it's fair to wonder how the Packers are supposed to fare any better. Unfortunately, injuries are a big question on the defense for the Packers. Demarius Randall left hurt with an arm injury, defensive tackle Mike Daniels did not play, and Nick Perry and Devin House were also out. The Bears don't have a high-octane pushing offense by any means, but the Packers don't have much depth right now with all of their injuries. Grab this one north of a touchdown if you can, because it probably won't be out there very long. The Bears have looked the part of a much improved team so far this season. The short week isn't overly helpful for Chicago, with travel to Green Bay coming on Wednesday, but the Packers are in dire straits with their injury problems. Chicago's newfound potency in the running game can help keep the ball away from Aaron Rodgers, and the defense has made some significant strides as well. Normally, the road team on a short week is a stay away, or at the very least, a big worry. But it doesn't seem that way this week, so we'll take the Chicago Bears at plus seven. Click over now to BetDSI.com to get $100 free. When you sign up with the deposit today, you can get a 100% deposit bonus. That's $200 in betting action for just $100. Start making cash right now with NFL or NCAA football betting. BetDSI.com has all your favorite sports to bet on today.